Achesi is rising and she is shining. Today, the launch of the Achesi engineering program signals the shining of a new light. Now, I'm pleased that this trademark Achesi quality will now be imbued in engineering graduates as well. May Achesi's engineering program shape our understanding of how the world works, how we can make it better, and how the university education system can be an engine of innovation for many, many years to come. As we thought through our second decade, uh, the board and my executive team decided that engineering should be our first priority. The reason why is quite simple. We need engineers to build many of the systems that we need in Africa. And we needed to think very carefully about what kind of engineers we're trying to create and what are the current challenges with engineering education um, in the country. For that reason, it was very important to speak to industry to understand what their needs are. There were a number of things that came up. They want them to not just be focused in a particular field. They also stress that the engineers should be hands-on. Then it was also important to get insight from experts in engineering education. We spent some time looking at curriculum across the world to see what is there and what other people are doing. We initially started with our own faculty looking at what we wanted in our engineering program. And lastly, students who are planning on studying engineering, it was also important to understand their perspectives. Between March and June 2014, the Internal Engineering Curriculum Committee met to produce a good first draft of the courses comprising the curriculum. This was sent to engineering faculty in Ghana and to engineering advisors from other institutions abroad for their feedback. Another important aspect of the development of the curriculum was thinking through the guiding principles. We want to give students a broad engineering education. We want them to understand their society. We want them to engage with their community. They should be engineers that solve their society's problems. An important aspect of that is the whole idea of service learning. The idea that you learn not only by doing your projects, but by getting into the community and serving them. We had the opportunity through a project with the FETSA Institute to also think about how virtues of love, compassion and forgiveness fit in with an engineering program. An engineer that works with integrity, that designs a building or a road with integrity so that it is efficient, is showing compassion for the people whose lives and whose livelihoods depend on this thing that they've designed and built. Another thing we realized from talking with students and our interaction with students is that teamwork is really important for engineers, but how to conduct teamwork is not something that is very easy and it's something that students struggle with and they need to apply forgiveness when team members are not necessarily doing what they are expected to do. They need to know again how to be empathetic and compassionate. Ethics is wildly important for engineers because engineers really need to think about when they take shortcuts. This isn't just an ethical issue, but it's also a love issue. It's a caring for humanity issue. So we realized that incorporating these principles and practices in the program would be very important in training the kind of engineers that we want. Through funding from the Fetzer Institute, three of our faculty were able to go to Olin College of Engineering and participate in a week-long workshop on pedagogy and best practices for student engagement in engineering programs. Once we got all the feedback from the first draft, we produced a second draft of the curriculum, and that's what we presented to our industry stakeholders meeting. Over 50 representatives from 40 organizations in Ghana met to hear about Ashesi's vision for engineering and to provide valuable feedback to the committee. 
After that, we took the next draft to our face-to-face uh, -face meeting of our engineering advisors. We were able to hold that also through funding from the Fetzer Institute. Once we had the curriculum finalized, it went to the National Accreditation Board. In parallel to all of this, we were constructing the building. We were hiring faculty and our head of department. We were ordering lab equipment. As part of our relationship with Olin College of Engineering in the Boston area, we were invited to accompany them on one of their trips. Olin also uh, was able to come back to hold a workshop for us, for our faculty, on designing for student engagement. Uh, this was also provided through the Fetzer Institute funding. A key difference between the HSE Engineering Program and other engineering programs uh, in Ghana is that it subscribes to the liberal arts approach to education. In addition, we have a very strong emphasis on three areas. One is design, the second is entrepreneurship, and the third is systems thinking. We offer three main engineering majors. These are mechanical engineering, electrical and electronic engineering, and then computer engineering. Now, the interesting thing about these programs is that they're very tightly integrated. This is because um, we recognize that most problems don't come in nice packages labeled as, oh, I am an electrical engineering problem, or I'm a mechanical engineering problem. You need to be able to apply these areas of knowledge together to solve a problem or to create a product or a service. Ashesi gave me the opportunity as a woman in the STEM field to pursue my passion in engineering without anybody discouraging me. My expectation was to come and meet people from diverse cultures and also to gain access to world-class opportunities and facilities. And I must tell you that so far my expectations have been beyond met. We expect students who've gone through the HSE education in engineering to above all have a certain set of values in the work that they do. Scholarship, leadership, being a good citizen, the impact that they're making in their society. Those characteristics and those values, I would say, are the single most important thing, collectively, that an Ashesi engineering graduate should have.